One time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants and then I washed it without realizing. Oh boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. Whew, at least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. the first few times I stopped counting. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. So I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki-san. We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager too. You've got it all wrong, as usual. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll just be running around after everyone all day. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's like right here. I kind of feel bad for her. That's really what you want to do. I won't stop you. 
but you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. Of course not. It was just a random example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Uh, I should probably fill you in, or you get the wrong idea about me. Let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights, we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend. Even though I was a victim, too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. You're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Hey, you! How can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have you used that line on, huh? When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> On. It's late. We should be getting home. I'll see you soon. Oh, welcome back.
Is... is this, um, really okay? Are you sure you don't mind or anything? I mean, um, I'm glad you're willing to, uh, but... Student council, though, so I should work on that. Oh, the school is almost out. Let's go. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about uh, what to say. I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Senpai, but I couldn't think of anything. This is Iwatodai dorm, right? Do you live here? My house is in the other direction. N no, it's not your fault. I noticed we were going in the wrong direction. I should have spoken up. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so thank you very much for today. is still in work yet. Oh, 
<laughs> Bonjour! I haven't seen you since the bookstore. You came? What a pleasant surprise. I am so happy to see you. I am training in the art of sewing. I am in this fashion club in order to own my sewing craft. Would you like to join me? It is Tenoshi. Very fun. If I may be so bold, would you sign up for my club? Honto? Really? Katoji Kunai. Many thanks. I am thrilled to have a new member. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But it may be closed when we have exams. I have not made any good tomodachi uh, friends, so it is very sabishi, very lonely. Maybe it is because I do not fit in. But now you are here. The divine fates have brought us together. Wondering, what is the best way to say bye to her friend? As in, what is the most culturally accepted? I understand perfectly. Until we meet again. You're still at it? Yes. You never know when an enemy might appear. But I thought you couldn't scan outside of Tartarus. To be honest, I am indeed lacking in that area. Maybe this is the best Penthesilea can do in terms of data gathering. 
Though I must say, the power of Persona seems to be much more diverse than I once thought. We even have someone who can switch Personas in the midst of battle. There's something special about his ability. And it hasn't even been that long since his awakening. Yeah, I was surprised too. But in the end, it's up to him whether or not he reaches his full potential. Hmm? It's a shadow. What? You actually found one? Wait, something's not right. The reading is too big. I've never detected an enemy of this size. Wait, is it like that huge one from last month? I think so. Oh, oh well then, this is gonna be fun. I'll wake up the others. We're here. Where is it? I'll rip it a new one. We've detected a shadow outside of Tartarus. We don't know for sure, but we think it's another big one like we saw last month. We must defeat any we find out there as quickly as possible. People may not be aware of the Dark Hour's existence, but if the city is destroyed during that time, inconsistencies will be left behind. In other words, we need to kick some ass, right? Well, count me in. <sighs> Junpei. Akihiko, you stay here and wait for the chairman. What? Are you kidding? I'm going. You still need time to recover. Like this, you'd only get in the way. what you say? They'll fare better than you in your current state. Have faith in them, Akihiko. They've already seen battle firsthand. Damn it. Relax. I've got it covered. <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice. You're in charge. Him again? Can you do it? Good. We're counting on you. At this rate, you'll be stuck playing leader forever. I mean, not like I care. You should let the three of them go first. You need to get ready, right? Yes. Let's rendezvous in front of the station. Got it. All right, let's go. She'll be here soon. There's a full moon tonight. Looks even creepier during the dark hour. Huh? What the? Sorry to keep you waiting. Listen carefully. Tonight, I'll be providing support from here. Everything else is the same. The shadow is currently located on a monorail not far from the station. To get there, you'll have to walk on the tracks. Uh, are you serious? Isn't that... dangerous? Not to worry. Electronic equipment is rendered inoperable during the dark hour, including trains. But... your bike? This was specially made to handle it. Now, if circumstances change, I'll notify you immediately. All right, let's get started. Okay. Yeah! Let's do this! Holy hell, we are real high up! I think I'm gonna hurt him. <sighs> what even? There should be a monorail about 200 meters ahead from where you are now. Get there as quickly as you can. We don't want any passengers to get hurt. You don't have time to go back. If the dark hour ends, it'll be a disaster. The passengers could be at risk. Secure the monorail immediately. Hell yeah! Can you all hear me? Yes, loud and clear. 
We just got here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. The readings are definitely coming from that monorail. Proceed with caution and stay together. Got it. <laughs> My persona's just itching for a fight. Well then, let's head on in. Don't you dare look up. Yeah, yeah, I won't. Uh, hmm, but don't blame me if I happen to catch a glimpse. Say, why don't we dig Junpei a nice grave? So, that's, uh, a person, right? Like a passenger? Even transmogged. Yippee. But these guys aren't gonna remember a thing of all this, yeah? Probably better that way. It knows you're there. Be ready for anything. Stay on full alert. Roger. So, uh... It's too quiet here. the shadows damn i was all ready to go and everything this place is so creepy <gasps> there it is hey get back here wait the enemy is acting strangely i have a bad feeling about this don't go after it, we're gonna lose it! You're in command right now. What do you think of the situation? I agree. It would be dangerous to chase after it blindly. So what if it's dangerous? We can't just stand here and let it get away! We can beat that thing, no problem! Hell, I'll do it myself! Watch out! Behind you! If only we knew the enemy's weaknesses. See if you can find them. Now's the time. Come find me, Persona! Takeba, finish the enemy! Continue exploring. This is just what the enemy wants. There's not much we can do about it now. You have to go after him or you'll be picked off one by one. Damn it, Junpei, what are you thinking? From what I can tell, he's only a few cars ahead. Okay, we'll catch up to... The enemy's 
Junpei, did something happen? Yeah. Junpei was acting kind of strange, wasn't he? Why'd he snap and get so upset? Well, I guess we can ask him once we've caught up to him. Let's go. Test of your skill. Doing just fine. Hey, what's your problem? Be careful, you three. I don't detect any movement, but stay alert. What the? Why are we moving? It looks like the entire monorail is under the shadow's control. What? Is that really okay? Doesn't look good. If we don't stop it, it's going to crash into the next train. Crash? Hey, what are we gonna do? Calm down and listen. I detect a powerful reading in the front car that must be our target. You'll have to defeat that to stop the runaway train. Crap! What kind of messed up ride is this? You should be able to hit a weak spot. Never mind. Huh?
our target? It has to be. There's nowhere else to go. Approaching the other tree. Hurry! Hurry? What are we even supposed to do here?
Did... Did we stop? Uh, I think so. Do you read me? Is everyone all right? Uh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> my, my knees are shaking. Dude, I'm like, drenched in sweat. <sighs> it sounds like you're safe. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. Well done. You can come on back now. Wait, how did you know which one was the break? <laughs> you saved me again. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Anyone want to grab a bite to eat on the way? I'm freaking starving. It's me. Reporting in from the scene, we've just finished up over here. The monorail did not sustain any noticeable damage. A job well done, Kirijo-kun. Huh, when I heard they hijacked a monorail, I feared the worst. Excellent work taking care of that. Now I don't have to worry about tomorrow's headlines. The team did a great job. They've learned a lot in a surprisingly short time. But what was up with the shadows? They've never done something like hijacking a train before. This is getting out of hand. I'll be looking into the matter. Does this mean... it's begun? Hmm. Let's not jump to any conclusions. For now, we should study their behavior for patterns or clues. We can't afford to keep waiting for them to make the first move. If only I had more power. Things wouldn't be so difficult for everyone. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing fine. More importantly, do you have anything to drink, Sanada-kun? Huh? Why do you look so tired, Ikutsuki-san? Wait... Don't tell me that bicycle outside is yours. Boy, am I going to be sore tomorrow.
Okay, so... Thanks. About that... Good job. I'm going to do it. Good go. Not bad. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. that This is Elizabeth speaking. I would appreciate it if you could come to the Velvet Room. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Goodbye now. I apologize for asking you to come at such short notice. Truth be told, I'd like to ask you a favor. I've been searching for someone of exceptional ability. So if you have the time, do you mind taking on several of my requests? 
On special occasions, I may require you to escort me on certain excursions. Of course, you will be aptly rewarded for completing the request. I look forward to your cooperation and hope to see you demonstrate your capability. Here are my requests. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirements. Most excellent. Now, let's hear your report. I won't insist you do anything, but it'd be greatly appreciated. A report of success. to think of it. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Is that true? You must know. Await a report of success. Oh, my! Marvelous! <laughs> of course.
Very well. day here are my requests let's hear the results come to think of it oh my Report. Very well. Accepting a request? Very well, then. Hello. 